Hello, hello, Larissa. Hello, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. You're exactly on time, right, Larissa? Yes, <laughs> yes. Godofredo. Thank you. Hello. Hello, teacher. It's a pleasure to see you. Well, a, a, pleasure, a pleasure to hear you, right? Un placer. Ah. No, no me enciende la cámara. Le da miedo que vea el desorden del cuarto. <laughs> no, God. Okay. Más o menos, más o menos. <laughs> ok, no, it's clear, look, right? Ajá, Larisa. No, it's clean, right? Todo se ve limpio ahí. Excellent. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Now, today I have a surprise for you, right? Sí, Tengo una sorpresa y vamos a hacer un jueguito, así que va a estar dinámica la clase. So, now let's begin with the PowerPoint presentation, right? Let's make the PowerPoint presentation. Ok, teacher, thank Immediately. you. Immediately. Ok, let me see. Presentation. Ok. So today we're going to learn a conversation. I come from a big family, right? And we're going to learn about quantifiers. My goodness, a very difficult topic in English, right? Quantifiers. How to quantify a thing, right? Okay. Now, uh, to begin, we're going to learn the, the objective. So, Godofredo, please help me. Can you read the objective for tonight's class? Okay. In, in this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifier and their meaning. Okay, thank you very much. Quantifier, right? Quantificadores. Palabras que enredan o envuelven cantidades, right? Okay, now. To begin, let, let me see uh, what are these quantifiers. There are a lot, right? Hay montón, right? There are a lot. But tonight, we're going to learn some very specific ones, right? And very interesting ones. All, nearly all, most, many. A lot of, some, not, not many, not many, sorry. It is not many. <laughs> a few, few, no one, right? These are the words. Uh, give me a second, we'll do something here. Uh, sorry. Um, hmm. I will make the correction. No puede ser que esté incorrecto esto. Give me a second. Uh, vocabulary. Not many, right? Okay. I have it. And then I share it with you. Okay, not many, right? Ya corregimos ahí. Okay, now. So all means 100% all, right? I remember when I was in school, right? Ooh, long time ago, right? When I was in school, right? And the teacher went out of the classroom. Okay, all the students were ma making a big mess, right? Todos los estudiantes empezaron a hacer un relajo inside the classroom, right? Ah, okay. Yes, right. And there was only one student who was like this, right? Very neat. And when the teacher came back, right? Cuando regresaba la teacher al aula, and then, what, what happened here? You know, fulanito, tell me, what happened here? ¿Qué pasó aquí, fulanito? And then he says, all were bothered, right? Todos estaban molestando, right? Todos estaban fregando, okay? But it's not true. Sometimes with numbers, for example, we can say, no, pero allá en la esquinita estaba, estaba Larisa, que se portaba bien en clase, right? Okay, y ella estaba tranquila, right? No estaba molestando, okay? 
Yeah, so we cannot say all. ¿Ah? No podemos decir todos están molestando, ¿ok? We can say, listen, nearly all. Casi todos. Nearly all, right? Pero como los salvadoreños son un poco chambrositos, todos, ¿ok? Todos en El Salvador son mañosos. ¿eh? <laughs> no, it's not true, right? Solo unos cuantos, <laughs> ¿ok? And then, when I say no one, it's zero percent, right? No one. No one was on the street, right? Nadie estaba en la calle. So this is zero percent. All is 100% and no one is zero percent. And nearly all is like, I don't know, 95%, 95%. Most is like 90%. Many is like 60%, como el 60%, 50%, 40%, not many, right? A few is like 20%, como un 20%. Few, the same, right? So, and no one is zero, right? Okay, now please. Repeat after me. All. Nearly all. Most. Many. A lot of. Some. Not many. A few. Few. No one. Okay, listen. A lot of eh, is pronounced like a V here at the end, right? Esta F se pronuncia como una V cuando se habla rápido en inglés. So we say a lot of, a lot of, blah, 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 blah. a lot of, right? And a few and few is the same, right? A few y few son lo mismo. Solo que a few se usa más que todo en connotación afirmativa. Y few, que significa poquitos, Pocos con números contables. Few tiene una connotación negativa. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos um, few, I have few friends, tengo poquitos amigos, right? It's, it's the negative, right? Uh, ok, I have a few, uh, what? Problems. Tengo unos, unos poquitos problemas, ¿no? So this is affirmative. Right? Tiene connotación afirmativa y el otro negativo, right? Ok, now, let's continue, please. Uh, to understand what is quantifiers, I need to understand what is a count noun, right? For example, count nouns are singular. For example, we can say a meal, an egg, right? So those are count nouns, things that we can count. We can say one, two, three, four, etc., etc., right? Count, countable, right? And they are separable. And you can count them. One, two, three, four, okay. And they are singular and plural, right? Plural, for example, we have some eggs, a few potatoes. So again, countable noun are singular and plural, are separable, and they have a, a form, right? I mean, they we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now. We have here oh, many cars too, many cars. It's plural, right? But then we have non count noun, right? Non count noun, for example, are all food. Food is no count. Nearly all water, casi todo el agua, nearly all water. Some juice, un poco de jugo, right? A lot of salt, right? Algunos les gusta mucho la sal, ¿verdad? Le echan mucha sal a la comida. So a lot of salt, mucha sal. Ok, so these food, water, juice, and salt are non-count now, right? Non-count. They are not separable, no los podemos separar, right? And they are not countable, no podemos contarlo. We cannot say one water, two waters, three water. <laughs> no, right? No, it's incorrect. Ok. Good, and they are only singular. They are not plural, only singular, right? Those are the characteristics of count nouns and non-count nouns, right? Now, if we come Excuse back... Yes, yeah, sorry? Uh, can you please uh, back to the count nouns? Oh, yes. And non-count nouns. Okay, but pay attention to this, right? Lo que queremos es colocar estos quantifiers 
para entender bien, ¿verdad? Cómo usar los, estos quantifiers, tenemos que entender bien cuáles son contables y cuáles no, right? So again, con nouns are singular and plural. ¿Ok? Con nouns are singular and plural. Singular, a meal, an egg, right? Plural, some eggs, a few potatoes, many cars, right? Singular and plural, the, the count now. They are separable, right? When I say many cars, puedo separar los carros. Un carro aquí, el otro allá, el otro allá. They are separable, right? Okay? And they are countable. You can count them. Los podemos contar. One, two, three, four, five, six, etc., etc., right? Those are the characteristics of the count noun. Esa es la característica de los números contables, de los nombres contables. The non count are no count, no se pueden contar, right? Yes, I have a, a right. question. Tell me, tell me, come on. Non contents. Eh, eh, can you see, uh, bueno, can you, uh, can you, uh, uh, can you uh, see the, uh, you have, uh, you see, uh, usted dijo del, del, de, o sea, digamos del agua y del jugo y todo eso. Uh -huh, yes. Pero, pero también podría ser el, por ejemplo, podría ser el, el arroz, the rice. Uh -huh. Yes, no contable rice. Or cereals. Correct. Yes, there are many oh, examples, okay. right? Oh, okay. The okay. coffee, the oh. the tea, sugar, the sugar, coffee, ah, yes. the the wine, el vino, right? Uh, ah. Muñecov. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> so liquids in general, right? Or, yes. or mass. Todo Alcoholic. lo que indica masa o líquido, it's on yes. count, no, ah. no count. You can say uncountable or non-count. Es lo mismo. Okay? Good. But do you understand the difference, Larissa? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, thank you. Now let's continue, right? Now, uh, we are going to say which expressions are used with count nouns and which expressions are used with no count, right? ¿Cuáles expresiones de estas quantifiers podemos usar con nombres contables y cuáles podemos usar con nombres... Sorry, con contable y con no contable, right? Ok. ¿Y cuáles podemos usar en ambos? Ok. Por ejemplo, all. I can say all cars, nearly all students, most, most cell phones, a lot of mangoes, some zebras, algunas zebras, right? Many lions, un montón de leones, many, not many, no mucho, right? Not many cows, a few oranges, few tomatoes, no one, right? No one, ningún tomate, ningún mango, nada, right? No one, right? Okay, these expressions can be used with cow nouns, okay? Cow nouns. Now, With no count at all. Okay, so I can say all the students with count nouns and, and all water. Todos los estudiantes y todo el agua. So we can use all with count nouns and non count nouns, right? Also, we can use nearly all, yes, with both countable and non countable. Count and non count, right? Most, a lot of. Some, okay, all of these can be used with both, with count and non-count, right? But listen to me, many, I cannot say many water, many water. <laughs> no, no, you cannot say that. Many water, no, or not many water, or a few, a few juice, a few milk, come on. No, incorrect, right? So, not many, not many, a few, few, and no one are exclusive for con noun, right? Remember that. Now we're going to see examples, right? We're going to see specific examples. All students, notice that students is countable is in color green in this country, right? Se los he puesto en verde para que vean cuáles son los contables. Student, right? Uh, all juice was good. This is in blue, right? No countable juice. 
all juice was good, right? Todo el jugo estaba delicioso, bueno, right? Nearly all cars were working. Casi todos los carros estaban trabajando. Nearly all food was good, right? So cars is countable, food is uncountable. So we can use all with countable, all with no countable. Nearly all with countable, nearly all with no countable, right? Okay, now, sorry. Most houses were beautiful. Most houses were beautiful. Most oil was a spill, right? La mayoría de casas eran bonitas, right? Most oil was spilled. La mayoría de aceite se derramó, right? Was spilled. So I can use most with countable and most with non-countable, right? Okay, now let's go to the next one. More example, right? Many, many fast food restaurants serve hot dogs. Ah, so many can use only with contour, right? There is a lot of salt in this soup, right? Se pasearon en la sopa, le echaron mucha sal, right? Salt is no contour. Salt, right? A lot of hamburgers. Hamburgers are contour, so you can say a lot of salt, a lot of hamburgers. There are some eggs in the refrigerator. Some is for countable ah and some milk in the cup some is for no countable too right good now let's re review right many is used for countable fast food restaurants we can count the restaurant right there is a lot of salt a lot is used with no countable and a lot of use with countables too some is used with countable and some is used with no contable, right? The last examples, right? Not many, not many kids. Many is used only with contable, right? Kids, niño, right? Uh, cabritos, because in Spanish, kid is cabritos. In Estados Unidos, a los niños les dicen cabritos, kids, right? Okay, so kids are contable. Mm? There are a few cookies, galletitas. Mm -hmm few countable there are a few cookies in the box right oh sorry aquí tenía que haber eliminado la but it's the same right you understand few friends came to her party few friends came to the party poquitos amigos llegaron a la fiesta verdad quizás por el coronavirus pues mejor quedarse en casita right and no one was on the street Nadie estaba en la calle, right? Contable in this case. But como no podemos poner nada, porque es nada, right? So no one, o nadie. So it's just for conto, right? Good. Now, any question? Any question about quantifiers? Just let's have clear this, right? Eh, the meaning, right? The meaning. Todos, casi todos, la mayoría, muchos, muchos, algunos, no muchos, unos cuantos, ninguno, right? So those are the meaning. Those are the meanings, I'm sorry. Do you have questions? Me puede repetir a lot of, por favor. La traducción. Uh, sería a lot of bastantes. O oh, bastante. Mm -hmm. Ok, gracias. Ok, you're welcome. You're welcome. For example, I can say a lot of classmates. Muchos compañeros de clase. A lot of classmates, right? Or you can say a lot of mud. Bastante lodo había en la calle. A lot of mud. Right? Those are the examples. Bastantes o bastante. Good. Any other question? Questions, questions, questions? No. Okay, good. 
So if no questions, we're going to finish with this presentation. Right? But we are going to play a game right now. We're going to play a game, right? The name of the game is called Taboo. Okay, we're going to play boys versus girls, right? Boys versus girls. Okay, so we have Mirna today, Larissa, right? And let me see, uh, Josabet, Avi, Rocio, Veronica, Silvia, right? Versus Alfredo. Um, only girls today. Luis, Mauricio Alarcón, and Godofredo, right? Okay, now I will explain the rule, right? I will give you some clue words. Le voy a dar unas palabras clave, right? Clue words. And you have to guess the taboo word. Tienen que adivinar la palabra tabú. La palabra que no se dice, right? Okay? Or the secret word, la palabra secreta. Mm -hmm. So, if a boy say the word, uh, the boys have the, the point, right? If I hear a girl, si una chica adivina la palabra, so the girl have the point, right? Okay? Now, let me see. Uh, Godofredo, please. I need you find the category, Godofredo. Quiero que escoja la, la categoría, Godofredo. Tengo eh, character, personajes, animales, comida, food, right? Objects, objetos, verbs, verbos. What do you want, Godofredo? ¿Qué categoría quiere que juguemos? Verbos. Verbs. Verbos. Verbos. Okay, actions. Actions. Very good. That's it, right? Just give me a second. Okay. Verbs. Good. Now, remember, eh, I will copy the clue words. Yo copio las palabras claves. Con esas palabras claves, ustedes tienen que adivinar el verbo, la acción, right? The verb. Okay? Good. Let's begin. Give me a second here. Ciudad. No. Remember is an action. Es una acción, es un verbo. Travel. No. Dance. Dance, correct. Dance, right? Good. Now, boys have one point. Remember it's action. Action, right? Okie dokie. Next one. Come on, girls. Le van ganando, chicas. Enjoy. Sorry? Enjoy. No, no, no. Similar, similar. Party. No, party. party is, is a noun. Party is un nombre. It's, it's an action. Recuerden que es un, un, un verbo, right? Playing. Sorry? Playing. Play. No. Play. What happens when you hear a joke? Sí. ¿Qué, pa ¿Qué pasa cuando escuchamos un chiste? Joke. Laugh. Smile. Laugh. Smile. No, laugh. Laugh. No, laugh. 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 Girls. Laugh. Girls, you have one point. That's it. Very good. The girls have one point, right? One, 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 one. Now, next one. Fly. Fly, correct. <laughs> Boys have one. Fly, right? Okay, good. Let's continue, let's continue. Smile. Smile. Good. Smile. Girls, chicas, les van ganando y son pocos los chicos. <laughs> what happened? Larissa, Avi, Josabel, what happened? Me les están ganando, ok. Come on. Get ready, girls. Next one. 
Exercise. Exercise. Very good. Ok, porque la, la mayoría de chicas siempre están en gimnasio, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Next one. 3 2, right? 3 a 2. Next one. Swim. 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 The girl, right? Swim. The girls again. Okay, now we have a tie. Empatamos. Okay. Oh, sorry. We finished, right? Solo eso tenía en esa categoría, right? Ok, I will use an object. Para desempatar vamos a usar un objeto, ok? Ready? Here we go. It's an object. Ya no es un verbo, es un objeto, ok? Paraguas. Umbrella. 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 Who, who say paraguas? No es Spanish. Ok, Umbrella. the girls. The girls. Claps to you, girls. <laughs> Women to the power, women to the power, okay? Good, that's it, right? Okay, now let's go to the class. Let's go to the class and let me see here, right? Okay, here, right? Just give me a second. 1.1, 5.1, right? We're going to review the, the conversation. Listen to the conversation again. My mother is teaching at the university. Ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? Okay, now the question is, where do Rita's parents live? Okay, and what do they do? ¿Qué hacen los papás de Rita? Y, okay, y en dónde viven, right? Now pay attention and let's see, we're going to read the commentary, right? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, now let's read the commentaries. Uh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Larissa. Here we have Larissa. Aquí tenemos a Larissa. We're going to make it bigger here, right? So Larissa says, where do your parents live? My parents live... Living in San Okay, good. But listen to me. Uh, that's okay. It's perfect. I like it. Good example, right? Buenos ejemplos me han puesto aquí. Pero también era de contestar lo que decía la conversación, right? ¿Dónde viven los padres de Rita? ¿Y qué es lo que hace? Vamos a, vamos um, a poner otra Exercise 3, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Uh-huh. Where do they live? Where do they live, class? He live in, te in Texas. They. They. Uh -huh, they because it's the, the yes. parents, yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, where in Texas? 
in Austin. Austin, Texas, right? Austin is a, is a city in Texas, right? It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there. Uh-huh. What does her mother do? Teacher in the university. It's a uh -huh, teaching, right? In the university. Very good. And my father is a carpenter. And what does her father do? He's a carpenter. Carpenter. Carpenter, carpenter like, like Jesus Christ, right? Jesus was a carpenter. So, okay, now let's read the commentaries of, of Larissa. Where do your parents live? My parents live, oh, okay, what is Larissa? What happened here? ¿Qué pasó aquí, Larissa? Hay algo detallito ahí que nos, que hay que corregir. ¿Cuál sería, Larissa? Live. Live, right? Because okay. parents is plural, we have to say live. Así que le vamos a eliminar la S ahí, Okay. okay. Yeah, thank, thank you. you, thank you. Now, what do they do? My parents are already retired. Okay, good. Excellent. Good commentary, Larissa. Thank you very much. Cristina, where do... Ah, aquí está la respuesta. Eh? Where do Rita's parents live? Rita's parents live in Texas. Austin, exactly, right, Cristina? Okay, uh, tenemos a Cristina ahora con nosotros. Cristina, oh, yes. Yes, teacher. Hello, Cristina, I'm sorry. Hello, que no tengo la pantalla completa. Good commentary. Thank you, eh, Cristina. Now, Thanks, what teacher. do they... You're welcome. What do they do? Rita's mother is teaching at the university. Vamos a entrarnos. Aunque a veces cuesta salirse de aquí, pero... Where do Rita's parents live? Rita's um, parents live in Texas. What do they do? Rita's mother is teaching at the university, right? And her father is a carpenter. Perfect. Exactly. That's the answer, right? Ok, let's continue. Uh, aquí no sé quién es que ha escrito. José Eduardo. No, 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 no. It's not, no es de nuestro grupo. Rocío. Ok, aquí tenemos a Rocío. Where do Rita's parents live? They live in Texas, right? Uh -huh, the same. Where in Texas? In Austin. More specific, right? It's a small city, but it's very nice. Good. And let's go and say... Uh, What do they do? My mother is a teacher and my father is a carpenter. Good. Teacher. The most beautiful profession in the world. <laughs> okay. Now, let's continue, right? Rosy? No, no more commentary, right? Okay, good. So, let's continue. Now, let's go to the knowledge check. I have a question, please. Did you finish? ¿Terminaron todos el 5.2? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, sure, no hay absolutamente yes, nadie, no hay absolutamente nadie, seamos honestos ahí, que diga que no lo ha terminado. Ok, let's do it together. Andy is Sam's grandfather and Marta is his, help me please, volunteers. Grandmother teacher. Grandmother. Grandmother. Grandmother teacher, right? Ok, like this. Ah, no, sorry, excuse me. Only grandmother, right? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Estoy molestando. Okay, now, grandmother. Good. Chris is Sam's? Father. 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 Good. Let's continue. Manuel is Sam's? Uncle. 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 Perfect. <laughs> Sam is married to Yumiko. She is his? Mm -hmm. Wife. 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 La manda mal, right? Okay. Sam has a brother. He's married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's? Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Hermana bajo la ley, right? So, cuñada. Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Monster-in-law. I mean, mother-in-law, right? <laughs> okay. Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. So she is Sam's? Cousin. Cousin, right? Cousin. Jim and Lisa have two babies. Kelly and Jim. Kelly is Sam's? Niece. Niece. Esa sí no me la sabía. Niece. And Jimmy is his nephew. Okay, good. 
Now submit. Cling. Give me a second. I have a bell, right? Tengo una campanita aquí. Congratulations. <laughs> Very good. Correct. 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 Now, um, let's go to the next part, please. Video, right? Let's review the video. The present continues. Ooh, good topic. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember that simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. What are you doing right now? This is the question, right? What are you doing right now? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Rodrigo, Cristina, right? What are you doing right now? I am eating dinner and I am watching La Rosa de Guadalupe. No, no sorry, excuse me. I am watching <laughs> a program of TV, yes. Okay, nice, Cristina. Now, uh, Rocio, what are you doing right now? I am listening to the, red, oh my goodness, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. Okay, I'm studying English. My goodness. Good activity, Rocio. Thank you for your cooperation in the commentaries. Now, let me see here. Uh, practice. Uh, Marvin, Marvin Ernesto, Lu, Lue, Marvin Lue, right? Marvin Luez says, uh, I am cleaning my house. Ah, no le creo Marvin, pero está bien. Okay. Está difícil de creerle, right? Hoy no está con nosotros Marvin Luez. Veamos, no, no está. Que me, me mandó un mensaje que le está fallando el internet. Ok, uh, y aquí puso más. I am cleaning. Yo sabet. I am listening to the le this lesson and writing in my now book. Very good, Josabeth. Congratulations. A very good student. Good. And let me see this one. Quiero ver quién es este chico o chica. Uh, Maximiliano. No, right? No hay ningún Maximiliano aquí. Ningún Ruperto Maximiliano. No, right? Okay, good. Only that. Oh, qué poquito, right? Ya me estaba alegrando. Come on, please. Let me see. Uh -huh. uh, Alfredo, I need commentaries. Kenneth. Welcome, Kenneth. Mirna. Necesito que me hagan comentarios, Mirna. Quiero ver su nombrecito ahí en los comentarios. Verónica, Silvia. Larisa. ¿Qué pasó, Larisa? Hoy no me comentó en este, ¿verdad? Abby. Tampoco. Hoy no me comentó Abby. Please, make your commentary, right? Okay, now. Let's go to the class today. Uh, today's class is about family, right? I come from a big family. 
Listen to this, this conversation. Birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Mar Do you come from a big family? Listen, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcos talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers mm. and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Teacher, tiene apagado el micrófono. Sorry, quiere decir que todo lo anterior no me escucharon. <laughs> I'm sorry, voy a repetir. Listen, please. Um, thank you, thank you very much. Now, how many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marco have? So, you're going to answer this question in the commentaries for tomorrow, right? For tomorrow. Now, listen again and repeat after me repeat after me just give me a second okay good now how many brothers and sisters do you have mainly do you have brothers and sisters how many brothers and sisters do you have mainly actually i'm an only child really Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Nowadays is estos días, o en el presente, right? Nowadays. Teacher, yes, can, you see, uh, can you see, uh, can you, uh, usted puede decir también, uh, hoy en día. Uh -huh. Today? Nowadays. Nowadays, you can say today, in the present, these days, but never, okay. never said actually, right? Okay. Actually, is otra cosa, significa otra cosa. You can say nowadays, okay. these days, in the present, today, uh, referring that the, refiriéndose a la actualidad, right? Okay, now please repeat after me. I didn't know that. Es que antes la población de China pues era tanta que decidieron poner una política de que les permitían a las parejas solo tener un bebé, un niño nada más, right? Uh, pero ya no existe esa política, solo por eso redujeron la población en China. De cada cuatro personas en el mundo, uno es chino, ¿verdad? En El Salvador el teacher un poquito ahí. <ríe> ok, now let's continue. Repeat after me, please. What about you, Marcos? What about you, Marcos? About, ab, 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 about. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. Big family. I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Que es smaller, teacher. Small 
it's small, pequeñito, right? And smaller is the comparative form of the adjective small, right? En español nosotros para decir que algo es o más grande o más pequeño o más feo o más caliente o más frío o más rápido, we say that, we say, ah, es más rápido, right? O El Salvador es más pequeño, el país más pequeño de Centroamérica, right? O Canadá es bien grande, es más grande que, que Guatemala, right? So we say más o menos, más o menos. But in English they use adjectives, right? And they use comparative and superlative adjectives. Para comparar las cosas, ellos se han complicado la vida y han impuesto un montón de reglas ahí en los adjetivos. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando usted compara dos cosas, le agrega al adjetivo ciertas palabritas, como en este caso, ER, right? Small, smaller. El adjetivo es small y usted le agregó ER, quiere decir que es, es más pequeño. ¿Sí? También está la forma okay. superlativa smallest quiere decir que no son dos son tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete ¿Sí? por ejemplo okay. para decir el país más pequeño de Centroamérica the smallest country right? ok, entonces para hacerle más rápido la, la respuesta, smaller es más pequeño, ok ok, thank you, you're welcome now please everybody repeat after me please eh, ¿Dónde nos hemos quedado ok, not really a lot of families are smaller these days. These days. But big families are great. But big families are great. Because you get lots of birthday parents, presents, sorry. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, las familias grandes son chivas porque le dan muchos regalos a uno, right? Many presents. Okay, now we're going to do something. I am going to play the audio, right? And you repeat after the audio. Ready? Here we go. Family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Come on, repeat. How many Actually, brothers I'm an and sisters do you have, Mary? Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because... You get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Now we're going to do something, right? Boys, all boys in this class are Marcos. And all the girls, all the girls are Meili, right? So you are going to open the microphone, right? And you're going to speak. Girls, Meili, boys, Marcos. Let's see. Marcos, one, two, three. How many brothers and sisters do you have in the main Actually, I am actually, actually, I am my only, only child. child. Really? 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 Yeah. 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 Most families in China, China have only one child, child. One child. No way. They didn't know, they didn't know that. that. No. What about you, what about you Marcos? What about you, Marcos? I come, I come from, from a big family. family. I, I have three brothers, brothers, three brothers sisters. and two sisters. Wow! wow. Is that typical, that typical in Peru? Not really. Not really. A lot of families, families are smaller. Are smaller. Are smaller. Like the the family are great. Family are great. You get a lot of, of, of presents. Present. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good practice, right? Now we're going to do something, right? Can you see the conversation? Pueden ver la conversación? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. La pueden ver. Y ahora? Yes, sir. Yes. Todavía. Yes. ¿Cómo es que yo no la veo? Let me see. Es que quería hacerles un, un truco ahí para que practicáramos, pero creo que no se puede, ¿verdad? Eh, no entiendo por qué, si en mi pantalla no aparece, ustedes sí la ven. Bueno, ok, vamos a hacer otra cosa entonces. Here, eh, we are watching the, the, the website. Ah, that's the reason. Ah, ok, con que haciendo trampa, ok. <laughs> Good, no problem, no problem. We're going to go to the next exercise, right? Let me see, quantifiers. Listen to the video, right? Si nos queda tiempo, vamos a hacer el juego nuevamente, ¿ok? No, please, pay attention. Quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you... This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. A lot of families are smaller. Okay, according to the tab, right? To the commentaries, you're going to add, uh, give an example, right, about yourself. For example, you can say, all my cousins are in the United States, for example, right? Nearly all my, my uncles uh, like music, for example, right? Most neighbors um, are noisy. La mayoría de mis vecinos son ruidosos, right? Okay, many, many friends like to... Like reggaeton, for example, right? Etc., uh, etc. Et so you're going to give examples in the commentaries, okay? Commentary. But let me point the next, right? Remember that uh, we go from 100% to 0%, right? All, todos, ninguno, right? Todos y ninguno, right? Todos aquí son del Barça y ninguno del Madrid, right? Sorry. <laughs> okay, now. So, and then we go nearly all, most, many, and we have like 90%, 60%, 20%, etc., etc., right? Good. And all of them are plural. Todos son plurales. Uh -huh. Pero ya vimos que algunos también se pueden usar en, en countable y no countable, right? Ya vimos esos ejemplos. Uh, el video dice que el teacher les explique eso, pues ya les expliqué yo que es el countable y no countable, right? Si quieren que les mande el audio, el PowerPoint al grupo, pues ahí me lo me dicen luego, ¿ok? Good. That's it. Please, okay. teacher, yes. Yes, ok, good. Entonces se lo vamos a mandar. Do you have any extra question? Aquí solo es de aprenderse los quantifiers, ¿verdad? So, any question? Good. Ok, thank you. Now, let me see. Uh, uh -huh. teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, couples. A couple. Uh, couples. Un, un par de, a, a couple of friends, right? Un par de amigos. A couple of friends like to drink beer. 
A un par de mis amigos les gusta tomar cerveza. A couple of friends. A couple me of. Too, me too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I don't, but yes. Tequila, but a little, a little. <laughs> okay, good. Now we have time to play again, right? To play. Now I will ask Kenneth. Kenneth no jugó el, el anterior, ¿verdad? Vamos a preguntarle a Kenneth qué categoría quiere, Kenneth. Tabú, right? Estamos jugando tabú. Tabú. Yes. It's a word. Yo les doy unas palabras y ustedes uh, con esas palabras adivinen cuál es, adivinan cuál es la tabú word. ¿Cuál es la palabra tabú? La, la mystery, right? Ya vimos animal. No, bird vimos, ¿verdad? Tengo categorías, eh, characters, personajes, food, animals. Kenneth, what category do you want? Um, ¿Qué categoría quisiera? Whatever is okay, teacher. Ah, whatever. Okay, good. So I will say characters. Vamos a ver personajes, right? So characters. Again, el anterior ganaron las chicas. Vamos a ver esta vez. The boys or the girls, right? So again, I will copy some words and then you tell me uh, the character, el personaje, cantante, actor, actriz, uh, presidente, millonario, etc., etc., right? That's the, the, the category, esa es la categoría. Ready? Right. Okay, Ready. come on, everybody, everybody, come on. Boys and girls, la primera voz de chico que oiga, el punto para los chicos, la primera voz de chica que oiga, the point for the girls. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Okay, <laughs> girls. Girls. <laughs> I don't think he's sexy, right? I don't think Brad Pitt is sexy, right? It's hmm. in the in the game, right? Okay. No, <laughs> right? no, <laughs> no crean que yo estoy poniendo eso. Aquí está. <laughs> it's okay. it's I think he's ugly. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. Next one, please. Next one. Moisés. Adán. Adán. Moisés. Adán. Eh, Adán. Adán. Eva. Eva. Ok, wait. No. Jesus. Adán y Eva. Ok, no, but in English. Adán. Eve. Adán y Eve. 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 Creo que les van a ganar a las chicas otra vez. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. What happened to you? Next one. Here we go. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Okay, boys, one point. Julia Roberts de Gomez. <laughs> okay, next one, please. Don't, don't tell my wife. It's a secret, right? Now. Ah, okay. <laughs> Selen. She's watching me. <laughs> the Flintstones. I have problems. Okay. Barney. 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 <laughs> Dinosaur, right? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Dinosaur. Aha. Okay. Barney. So the girls. The girls again. Three, one. Oh my goodness. Boys, come on. What happened? You can do it. Next one, okay. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Three, two, three, two.
Pwedeng alin? Aha. Pwede alin? No. Jim Curry? No. Uh, Adam Sandler? No. No. Pinocho. Pinocho, right? Pinocho. The Pinocho. nose, light. Okay. No vale, no vale porque dijo en español. No, but that, that's it. Uh, it's true. Pinocho, <laughs> right? Pinocho. Look. It's Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio is in uh, Italian. <laughs> okay. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. It's Pinocchio, Pinocchio. I will find out. Then vamos a ver igual. Si es Pinocchio, uh, Pinocchio, right? Pinocchio. It's okay. Pinocchio, teacher. Pinocchio. Yes. Ok, entonces vamos a invalidarla, ok. Yes. <ríe> no es que esté a favor de los muchachos, pero. Yes. Ok, next one, next one, please. Ready, here we go. Uh, Star Wars. Look, Star Wars. Eh, Star, no, Wars. Eh, Star, Star Wars. Wars. <ríe> Star Wars. Um, no. um, Darth Vader. Darth Vader, you're right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Darth Vader, right? Darth Vader. Oh, come on. Two more, right? Let me see what time is it. Oh, yes, it's time. So two more and we finish. Four, two, right? Cuatro, dos, lo van arrastrando, okay? Come on, boys. Okay. Next one. But in English, I need this one in English. La colonización. It's a character, it's a personaje. Cristóbal Columbus. Cristóbal Columbus. Okay. Cristóbal, okay. Le valemos este punto es Columbus. Christopher Columbus, right? Christopher, ah, Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Columbus, yes. Chicas, ¿le valemos este el punto a los, a los muchachos? No. No. No, no ¿por qué no valieron la de You're Pinocho? Mean, right? yes, sí, 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 You're mean, right? You're mean. Son malas, okay. Next one. Yes. The last one, and we finish, right? Okay. La del honor, muchachos. Come on, let me see. Gandhi, Gandhi, um, eh, Madre Teresa de Calcuta, mother of, eh, eh, mother, mother, Calcuta, mother, mother of Calcuta. Calcuta. Mother Calcuta. No, oh, no. no. mother no. Eh, Mary Calcuta, of Calcuta. <laughs> mother. 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 Madre Teresa de Calcuta. But in, in English, in, how in, do you say Teresa? Again, how eh, do you say Teresa ah, in English? Teresa. Teresa, 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 right? Teresa. Teresa. Mother, Teresa. Mother Teresa, right? Mother Teresa. Okay. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Big, right? Big arrastrada. I'm sorry, right? <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have any extra question about the, the quantifiers. Uh, ¿Hay algún punto en la plataforma que todavía les esté causando problemas? Teacher. Yes, Cristina, tell me. Eh, en el ejercicio 5.11 5.11, no, veámoslo rapidito ajá, no he podido contestar dos porque no sé cuál es la respuesta ya vamos a ver, ahorita le digo 5.11 yes. ok 5.11 ah, es que no hemos llegado ahí, verdad pero sí, igual, vamos a es, es el último, uno. ajá, el último, yes. El lo, vamos a, lo vamos a ver mañana, pero igual le voy a adelantar. De changing... ajá, la número uno y el número cuatro. Vamos no. a ver, The Changing Family. No es, un, es una lectura, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, sí. The Changing Family. Es, está hablando de una familia. Ajá. Judy and Jan have three children, right? Sí. Está hablando Tampoco. de Judy and Steven Morales. They have three children, Josh. Ben en Emily, right? Y aquí lo describe uno, uno por uno, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. Which children are benefit from duty working? Este, ¿Cuáles son los niños que se benefician del trabajo de, de Judy? Que Judy es la esposa, ¿verdad? 
Sí. Ok, entonces aquí están los nombres. <ríe> de los que ya se le benefician. puse los tres nombres. Los tres y, nombres. Y, sí, me sale mal. Sale yo, mal. Quizás el yo orden. Puse, yo puse el número tres y también sale mal. No, pero cuesta un poco, pero, pero sí. Este, Son los tres nombres. Es que quizás el orden. Sí, a veces cuesta. No, no, la plataforma, la plataforma no quizás lo puso en cierto sí. orden, entonces hay que adivinar ese orden de los... Pero son los tres, son los tres hijos, ¿verdad? No, son dos. Solo Mera son dos. Solo dos. Vamos a sí. ver, dice Josh, Ben, en Emily. Son, bueno, son tres, pero es de leerlo, ¿verdad? Yo no pero, lo he leído. Ajá, hay que leerlo, pero son dos realmente dos. en esa respuesta. Sí. Mm, vaya, este... Hagamos una cosa. Si, si es algo del otro mundo... Yo se lo voy a mandar al grupo, ¿verdad? Si es algo que vaya a una coma o un punto y, y ustedes no sepan qué, yo se lo voy a mandar al grupo. Les voy a mandar casi la respuesta, ¿ok? Y vamos a la segunda. Which child is not benefited? Ah, ¿cuál? Ah, ok. Entonces aquí está la respuesta, sí. Hay dos que tienen beneficios y uno que no. Ajá. Entonces lo que hay que leer ahí es de los tres... Josh, Benin, Emily, hay uno que, que pobrecito, lo están ignorando, ¿verdad? entonces ese es. ¿sí? Tal vez póngale punto al fin, punto final, una coma, tal vez eso es. Ahí hay que jugar con las, las probabilidades. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? ¿Quién de ellos está disfrutando de más libertad? Me imagino que debe ser uno de los tres chicos, ¿verdad? Eh, which family members are doing housework? More housework. ¿Quiénes están haciendo más trabajo de hogar? ¿En which family member feels too busy? ¿Cuál de todos ellos se siente que está muy ocupado, que estás haciendo un montón de cosas? Solo es de leerlo, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, ¿Quién me estaba preguntando? Cristina, Cristina, hágalo, inténtelo. Haga el juego de, de nombres ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, es que solo la 1 y la 4 me La 1 y la 4, vamos a ver. Ajá. La 1 yo les voy a mandar así casi que la respuesta, ¿va? Y la 4, sí, tendrían que ser, es que no he leído, pero me imagino que son dos. Which family members, porque dice members. ¿Quiénes están haciendo más trabajo en la casa? Ok, la 1 la y la 4, ahorita la anoto. Sí, en la 2 son dos. Son dos. Ah, ok. Sí. Thank you, thank you. No, solo que no me diga los, los nombres. <risa> ok, good. Entonces, eh, por ahí se los mando eh, la pista en el, así como hicimos el juego ahora. <risa> Le vamos a mandar la pista al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Algún okay. otro? Ok. No, ¿Algún otro punto? ¿Que han tenido problemas? No. No, no solo ese he tenido Only problemas. Okay. Los demás ya terminé. Good, thank you. Now, anybody else? ¿Alguien más? No. Ok, God, uh, God bless you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.